Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to do the full review of this Asus RTN 66U dual band Wi-Fi router. This is a high-end uh, Wi-Fi router from Asus that supports 450 megabits uh, Wi-Fi connection on both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band and also all the ports at the back are gigabit ports. Not only that, but this router can do additional two functions that is it has two USB ports at the back and using that you can connect a hard drive to the same and download torrents etc directly on the router without even switching on your computer also this router supports 3g data card so that you can use that and connect to the internet and this is the router let's have a closer look at the same and this is how the actual router looks and uh, here we have uh, some led notification light i'll go about them later on when i power on the router and on this side we have quite a few vents Again, if we move towards the back, the power adapter goes in over here. We have two USB slots and we have one WAN port and we have four Ethernet ports. The WAN port and even all these four Ethernet ports are gigabit ports and we also have a WPS button over here. And the good thing is about this router is that these antennas, the three antennas are removable. So you can easily plug a, a higher gain antenna if you like. But again, I found the performance of this router, even with the stock antenna, to be uh, really spectacular. And moving towards this side, again, we have quite a few vents. And on the back, again, we have a lot of vents to dissipate the heat. And you can adjust the antennas like this, if you would like. So this is how the router looks when it's connected. And uh, these LEDs light up over here. And you can place this router in this position. or. You also, also provides us the stand and you can easily mount it at the back and place the router like this if you would like it to look like this and just place it back now let me show you the LED lights this is for the power and these four are for the Ethernet ports I have just three Ethernet ports connected that's why only three of them are glowing and this is for the internet and if you're connected to the internet and there is activity it blinks and this is for the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi band and this is for the 5 gigahertz wi-fi band and we also have the last led that is for usb if you have any usb device connected this will glow and right now i have connected this hard drive that's why it's glowing one little con that i have with this router is the top portion of this router can get pretty hot if you live in a particularly warm country or a tropical country like india where in summers the temperatures can go pretty warm for example in my office if i do not switch on my ac the temperatures can rise to about 32 or 33 degrees centigrade and in those conditions i found the router to get very hot and in one instance it was it stopped functioning properly and I had to shut down the router for about two minutes to get it back working so just make sure that this router is not placed in a very hot environment because this router tends to get very warm as this router supports both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band let me first talk about the 2.4 gigahertz band and for all router testing i have divided my apartment into four zones that's the a b c and d and the a zone is just five feet away from the router there's no obstruction the b zone has one physical wall and uh, the target devices are kept at 23 feet and we have the c zone that is 33 feet away from the router and we have two physical walls between them and finally we have the d zone that's about 55 feet away from the router and we have almost three brick walls uh, in between them and i have to say this router excelled in the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi throughput and even the range the range that i got with the router was exceptional then uh, let me show you some of the figures this is the chart we'll have a look at the same and this is the raw throughput at 2.4 gigahertz and it's in megabits per second higher the figure the better the throughput and the osus rtn 66u is the last one in the table so as you can see in the 2.4 gigahertz uh, band this router excelled and it uh, in my testing it beat all existing routers that I have tested and now let's move to the 5 gigahertz band again do note that 5 gigahertz band does not provide the range but provides higher throughput speeds and i've tested this at 300 megabits i could not test it with the 450 megabits uh, variant because i didn't have a data card that supported that speeds and these are some of the results based on the 5 gigahertz band again uh, the last one is the rtn 66u and again if you see in the zone b and c it clearly dominates 
again as you can see it was the top uh, chart leaders again in the 5 gigahertz band again i have to say it excelled in the zone c where generally i find most of the 5 gigahertz band routers to drop out but again i got consistent and very good results even in the zone c again as expected it couldn't touch the zone d but again uh, it provides i would say a far better throughput in the 5 gigahertz band compared to other 5 gigahertz band routers Again, uh, I would just go back to the 2.4 gigahertz band. I tested this router even on my, uh, what do you say, uh, garden terrace where mostly every Wi-Fi router cannot reach that point. And this router was able to reach even that uh, spot at in the 2.4 gigahertz band. And I was able to stream YouTube user videos, etc. even at that spot. So even with the default uh, antennas that are provided with this router, the range that it offers on the 2.4 gigahertz band is, I would say, exceptional. Now let me give you an uh, overview of the USB port at the back of the router. I am logged into the admin interface of this router. Uh, I have made another video regarding in-depth review of the admin interface. So if you want to know about that, you should check out that video. Uh, here in the USB application, you have a lot of options. For example, you can share uh, this USB disk throughout the internet. You can use this AI disk option. And also you can set up simple shares. And this router also has DLNA capability so that you can uh, just connect a portable hard drive and share that content to your DNA enabled device like computers or Xboxes and PS3. You can easily toggle between them and you can also enable the iTunes server and uh, we also have network shares so you have complete control over that and happy to say that this network shares work beautifully with Windows and even Mac computers and we can also enable or disable FTP shares if you would like. Again, uh, the USB throughport uh, is just average, I would say. On a Windows-based computer, the reach speeds that I was getting from the USB were uh, just about 10.1 MB per second. And on the Mac, I was getting about 13.6 MB per second. It's not the best, but again, it is, I would say, good. And you can easily use this router as a mini NAS to serve files. Also, this router uh, provides us the option of network enabling your printer, so you can use that. I personally didn't check this. And also, this router, as I had mentioned earlier, can accept 3G data card so that you can get internet f f facility using 3G dongle. Again, you have to just make sure the 3G dongle that you're using is compatible with this router. So you need to check out uh, the OSIS website and check out if your model is listed. They have quite a few models that are listed, but again, I would uh, suggest that if you're gonna use this functionality, just make sure your 3G data card is supported. And another uh, good thing about this router is that this router has a built-in uh, download master. So you can just use this to download torrents, etc., directly to the router, even when your PC is switched off. And the good thing is that now they have made this just a web-enabled service. So it works with every operating system like Windows, Mac, etc. And it's very simple. You just uh, hit this add button and here you just select the torrent file, etc. And just assign it and it will download that file directly to the attached hard drive even when your pc is switched off it did not work with http downloads but i tried it with a couple of torrents and it worked beautifully now we are testing the power efficiency of this osus rtm 66u router and i've attached my power meter and as you can see it's consuming approximately about 9.9 .9 to 10 watts of power this is with the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz wi-fi band enabled and i have two computers connected via the ethernet port and I would say it's not really efficient because I've seen other dual band routers to consume just about 6.5 watts or 7 watts of power. Now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to attach this portable hard drive and let's see how much power it consumes. I've just attached the portable hard drive as you can see. It's now pulling approximately about 2 watts, 2.5 watts more. And we can say that with the one USB device attached, it will consume approximately about 12 watts of power. Again, how would I rate this router? Again, uh, I would say this is not a cheap router. This router is a pretty expensive router. In US, uh, at the time of shooting this video, I just, just checked this price in on Amazon and it was selling for about $180. And in India, this router sells for about rupees 13 to 14,000. And that is a pretty expensive router, I would say. Again, if you keep the pricing aside, I would say this router is pretty good, but it's not, uh, everything is not rosy. Uh, one thing I did not like about it is that uh, the router heats up a lot and that can sometimes cause stability issues. In my testing for about 20 days, 
I had to reboot the router two times. Again, I would say that this was due to the amount of heat that it was generating. It was not because of the router failure or anything. And I was testing this router in my office and generally uh, uh, in one instance, I had shut off the AC and I came after about five or six hours and the router was very hot. So heat is one issue that I have a con with this router. Also regarding the USB throughput, I would say it is good, but not the best. And also if you have noticed the power ratings, I feel that this router consumes a lot more power compared to other dual band routers. Again, if you, I would say this is one of the best routers right now in terms of throughput and the Wi-Fi range that you can offer. I hope you found this video review helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button given below. You can also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thereby you'll be automatically notified whenever I add a new video. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech 2 and I hope to see you in my next video.